Hi, this is Kendrick at worldmedicalschool.org. We're going to go over the secondary trauma survey. We just did primary trauma survey, so if you haven't seen that one, you should probably watch it first. So more than a third of trauma patients have missed injuries. And uh, it can be uh, potentially life-threatening when we miss these injuries. So the secondary trauma survey is very important. We're going to go over uh, indications for surgery and transfer, uh, diagnostics, history, and a thorough exam as part of our secondary trauma survey. So don't delay surgery or transfer for the secondary exam. So if, uh, if you're in a smaller hospital and uh, you can't handle it, you don't have a surgery center, for example, and uh, you're not a trauma center, you want to stabilize the patient and get them out of there. Um, if you uh, do have a surgery center and uh, there's indication for surgery, you're not going to delay surgery for a thorough secondary exam. Um, diagnostics. So some people might say this is before the secondary survey and, and at the end of the primary sur survey. Um, but a fast scan is something that we often do we check for blood in four spaces, between the right kidney and liver, which we call Morrison's pouch, between the left kidney and the spleen, which we call the splenorenal recess, and posterior to the bladder, which is the pouch of Douglas, and the pericardium. And uh, there's also the E-fast, which a lot of people are doing now, which is the extended fast, and it just, uh, I think all it includes is just a, a check for uh, for uh, pneumothorax, sorry. Of course, there's checks, chest x-rays, head CTs, spinal CTs that we do, depending on the injury type. Labs we do as well, but this isn't like a, a screening lab that we're going to do. We do labs if we think that there's some kind of uh, intoxication, if we want to assess blood loss, um, but uh, you don't just do a screening labs necessarily in a, in a trauma situation. History, make sure your first responder uh, stays around so you can ask them a more thorough history once you've stabilized the patient. You want to know about the mechanism of injury. You want to know about allergies, uh, surgical history. Under mechanism, uh, ask how long the knife was or what kind of a gun it was, how far away they were when they shot it, whatever. Uh, sorry, I'm thinking in morbid terms uh, just about uh, uh, people trying to kill people, but uh, more specifics like what they were wearing a seat belt and things like that. In the exam, uh, you can't stress enough that you just need to look and palpate everywhere because uh, so often we miss injuries just because we're focused on the big bleeding injury that we miss uh, all kinds of other injuries like uh, abdominal aorta injuries. We miss um, lots of uh, straddle injuries in uh, the hidden places, so we just make sure you look and palpate everywhere for any deformity or tenderness or abrasions. And finally, uh, put a Foley in uh, a lot of these people if they're hemodynamically unstable or if they are getting fluid resuscitation, we want to measure their output or if they're going to surgery. If you want to get involved, you can comment below or you can visit us at worldmedicalschool.org. Thanks.